Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. In this video, we will be talking about Python Meteor Module 5. Before we start this video, I would like to request you guys to like, share and subscribe to this channel Code is Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So without any further ado, let's go into the topic. This video is regarding a small disclaimer that I would like to give you before even we start with Python Module 5 in your v2 syllabus that you had we were following this syllabus right this syllabus which we had we were following this right so this was the syllabus that was there uh, to for you guys for v2 students and this pdf was prescribed where automate the boring stuff with python was the pdf which you guys were told to refer in this particular syllabus so we were already creating videos on that and if you want to see the other videos regarding the uh, other modules like module 1, 2, 3, 4. We have already covered all the modules. I will just give you the link in the description below and you can go ahead and watch those videos. And we were following the same PDF in those videos. But regarding module 5, there is one small disclaimer that I would like to give you is that the module 5 in this uh, syllabus is from chapter 11 to 14. And if we come across this, I'll take you to 252 page. The, well, this page is where we are starting with chapter 11. Around here. Yes, we are starting with chapter 11, which is web scraping. And this module 5 also is starting with web scraping. So from chapter 11 to 14, we have all these things. Now, the only thing that I would like to tell you is that your syllabus is following this PDF. And whatever programs are written in this PDF regarding all these chapters are not proper, are not correct. Correct in the sense they are old and all the programs which are given here in this particular PDF file are the, all the programs are deprecated. So, for example, I'll directly take you to one page, page number 290. Here, chapter number 12 starts working with Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to take one example and I'm going to show you working with Excel spreadsheet is the chapter 12 here. And the very first thing is to install OpenPy Excel module. Till here it is correct, it is fine. But as soon as we start reading Excel files, there is one program given right here. Getting sheets from workbook, this part. This program is given right here. And if we see this program, the commands which are used in this are old. They are deprecated. and these program these commands are not used anymore because OpenPy Excel got updated and new version of OpenPy Excel came. So the commands are also got changed. So the one thing that I would like to tell you guys, if you're learning from here, this PDF, be careful because here these commands are not working now. See, I'll show you. For example, I have taken an example of the same program which was written here and I have written the same program on my PyCharm. Now, in this case, on the left hand side here, you are seeing the old program from the PDF file. So a program from chapter 12, automate the pudding stuff. It's an old deprecated program. So this is the program where we are using the same get sheet names, then get sheet name, then or get active sheet, these commands. But these commands are not working now. These commands are deprecated. Instead, we use workbook.active.title. Then we use sheet names instead of get sheet names. So these kind of Commands are changed. You can see the drastic changes, right? So this is the, on the right hand side is the correct implementation of the old program, which was given in the PDF. So this is just a small disclaimer, guys. Be careful while you are learning from this PDF, which is given to you. Automate the boring stuff using Python. We are on to this. And when, as soon as we are soon going to upload our Python VTU module 5, where we will be using correct code. We won't be using the same code which is given in the PDF file, this PDF file. We are not going to teach you these things because again, these will be an old stuff. And we don't want you guys to be updated with the old stuff. That is why we are going to rewrite these codes and we are going to correct these codes and then we are going to upload our Python module 5. I hope you understood this well because you have to be very careful. That's it. If you are working with this PDF, 
automate the boring stuff with Python, the module 5, most of the programs are deprecated. That is why be very careful while you're learning from this PDF. We are soon going to upload a new video where we are going to cover all the full module, all the topics in this full module, module 5. And we are going to show you the correct implementation of each and every code given in the same PDF. So this is the small announcement, guys, that I would like to tell you. Soon, very soon, we are going to upload our Python V2 module 5 as well. And there, we are going to show you how exactly all these things works. So that's it, guys, for this video. I hope you have understood this well. I have shown you a simple program here. See, if I run this code, see, this is an old legacy code. If I run this code, you can see that it is going to give us so many errors. See, and the error if you write, if you see, you can see that it says deprecated warning. Call to deprecated function get sheet names. Use wb dot sheet names. Call to deprecated functions get sheet name. Use wb dot sheet name. See, instead of this, we are instead of this, we are using this. Instead of this, we are using this. So these are the changes. Then instead of wb dot get active sheets, we say wb dot active dot title, not sheets. Totally the command has been changed. So that is why you have to be very careful. So this is your PDF program and this is your correct implementation of the same program from that PDF. I hope you have understood this well, guys. So be very careful if you are learning from PDF. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you have understood this well. If you want to see this code also, you can see it's running fine. No errors into this. But if you run this one, you will get so many errors. That's it. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you have understood this video well. Um, stay tuned because we are going to, of course, upload our Python VTU module 5 very, very, very soon. And you are going to love that as well. So that's it from my side. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you have understood. Till Take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon to our channel, Kodas Arcade. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Happy learning.